Hello, I'm Kiam Singh. Welcome to another E3D lesson. Today, we are going to show you how to export to RPM with attributes. Using the standard APS project, I'm going to first export the area 01 of the project. First, let's call the piping equipment and structure of area 01 into our view. In the project, you will find that the system uses group set to actually put together all the area 01 sites into one easy to access group and we can make use of it to call all the information into our view. Let's use the interface review export and since we haven't created any configuration file, let's use the create to create the review export. The first thing that I like to do is to add the content of my RVM file that I'm going to create. And you can do this by navigating to the zone or site or structure and add them to your include area. And of course, if you have things that you do not want to include, you can put them in the exclude area within those sites. Now that we have defined what to export, the next thing is to define the appearance of the items that we export and we make use of the rule class to do it. So I have created a simple rule call for all pipes I want the color to be number 2. And I can do for structures and I say this rule is all struct or all structures and you give the rule a description. Here we say that the description is structure color and we give it a color index of 3. And we can do for the last one which is the equipment. In the rule, you can add filters to the elements that you want to export by using the width uh, statement and you can use that to actually decide like different types of piping services can have different colors. That's the rules we have and now let's save it to the existing test export and we are going to use that rule class in our export. Next, we are going to type the output file name and unfortunately there's no file browser to help you with that so you got to type the output file name yourself and you can give the export rbm file a file name like for example area 01 now we can start the export process by clicking the export button i'm just going to pause the video while, while the export takes place And you can see that the std.rbm file has been created. Next, we are going to use the standard function to create the attributes. And this is found in the dumb attributes. Now, let's add the database elements to the export attribute. But before we do that, let me show you the collection. And you can see that the collection is nothing but the group work in the share collection folder. Using this shared collection, we can quickly navigate to the areas that we want. For example, area 0 of pipe. And uh, you can add to the graphics window at the same time navigate to the pipe. Using this collection method, we can quickly navigate to the different zone and add them to our element to export attributes.
Now that we have selected all the database elements, we have to select export database element and we have to give the database attribute file a file name and this file name have to be the same as the rvm file with the extension .txt Now we will export the attribute file I will speed up the video for the export process After our file and attributes have been exported, we will use NavySwerp to read these two files. Before we open the RVM file, let's take a look at the options in the NavySwerp. Under the options, there is a file readers RVM. In the options, you can see the attribute file extension to be used with the RVM file. Let's open the RVM file. You can see that in the same directory we have the attribute file with the same file name but different extension. Now if you look at the properties of the element from PDMS or E3D, you can see that the attributes has been transferred across. However, there is a problem because there is really so much attributes there and some of the attributes we do not want. In our next lesson, we are going to show you a tool that will actually allow you to select the attributes that you want to export. And we are going to give you that tool so that you can use it in your work with E3D. See you in the next video. Bye.